All right, guys, we're going to power up the system for the first time and see how power is going to come in into the uh, new um, charge controller we just installed, the Midnight Classic 250. Let me turn the breaker on and see powers. The initial start. Check this out. There you go. You can hear the fan rattling and uh, right now he's gonna tell us to uh, choose what we want to if it's solar wind or hydro so our first choice here is gonna be solar so we have to push the center button here and it's gonna tell us the 48 volts because they automatically configure that According to your uh, battery bank, we enter. So it's telling us right now it's a 57.2, um, equalize 57.2, absorb in 54.4, float. So it's thinking for AGM. So these numbers here is going to be the same. The absorb and the float is going to be the same. Okay? So we're going to be changing that. My battery bank is going to be uh, the 50, it's uh, 65.7, but I'm running my system on 65.2, so 65.2 <clears throat> for the outback, which uh, I have to use like a uh, equalization 65.2. All supposed to be, I think the Midnight's can do that. The Outback was um, not too that friendly with that. So let's see, 65.2. Okay. All right, we set that one. And we come back here, it's the same. That's the difference with the Outback and the uh, Midnight. Okay, see what I'm saying? Right there. So it says 65.1. See that? It can't go further. So we can drop this guy here. So this is my um, uh, thing I'm talking about here. Uh, you can see it can only go up to about that 65. See if I have to go on the float. Okay, go on the float here. So I can go 61, 5.1 here, which the absorb gonna give me 65.2, but I cannot change that anymore. I have to alter this one to drop this one down and I can able to drop this one as well where it goes to 65 and 61 65.1 and the float is going to be 65 or you can come here and go you have to increase this to 62 or 63 then you can able to have the float on a 62 you see what I'm saying so this is uh, some of the other stuff that different with the different charge controllers they have their own behavior so they absorb i can still find because i go I have to go 65.7 i'll go 65.3 that's okay 65.2 that's what i just want my system to be which i can able to drop this one to probably um it stays like that or maybe i can go with the equalizing Okay, 65, 65.2, sorry. And uh, if I decided to drop this, it's not gonna let me drop it. And I have to come, oh, I just missed that. So so this is how you set up the, uh, the theme and uh, we're gonna set up the time and everything. This completes our battery setup and the system is already turned on, stay tuned. All right, so 
we can change set up the time here right now it's 2251 um, hours so we come here and just go 2251 okay and um, here right now we can go back and set up set up the uh, the month the seventh month and today is the 19th it's not it's not even 10 o'clock uh, 12 o'clock yet here and set the year which is 2019 oops that goes really fast 2019 so we press send a button see it's throwing that on the memory that is sent so it shows the firmware and everything so if you look at now we're sitting at 61.8 so let's take a look here if that's really true 61.7 so it's close it's close all right guys so this completes our one old install and programming and the tweaking and all that stuff will be on the next video and uh, thanks for watching guys I love you guys all and thanks for supporting the channel if you like it give it a like um, um, share the video thanks so we're waiting for the Sun to be up tomorrow or we can check the firmware that will be another vi a video then I'm gonna show you how to update it on the computer okay so you get a wristbang junior um sorry the midnight and download the program and update thanks all right guys this is the archaic um uh software for the midnight uh classic if you look at this the uh, vmx so this uh sorry the um this is this this already told me or give me a clear representation that this midnight has never been stirred up okay this is a brand new and it just been in the factory sitting there and it's marked at 2014 like manufacturer you know they have a lot of stockpile of them which they don't rotate them just like when you go to the grocery store you know they're supposed to be putting the fresh food on the back and the, the ones are already about to be out they're gonna be on the front so they don't recycle them okay and uh it tells look at the look at this maybe you've never seen this before on a classic the vmx that's an old old program you can see right here where you can set up everything and it's 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 different it's just different so um that's why i'm gonna be look at this timer see if i absorb and uh equalize so that um, that just tells you that um the program is old okay battery temperature sensor and uh the limits so it sells a 58.1 inputs um amps and um so 50 58 amps is gonna take back to the batteries and while uh 99 when 99 amps coming in from the solar and the minimum is supposed to be like a 52 point something and max is 65 point three but this is the old old program so I have to update this and see like end amps and all that good stuff so stay tuned for this because it will be a lot of fun and for those of you who have never uh, dealt with uh, the classic okay all right, I hope this one helps someone. There's another thing here um, with the classic. You know, if you want to end amps, like uh, uh, lithium don't have any end amps, okay? When it's 58 or 65, 65, 65, he doesn't do that. And I can tell end amp in the classic, or I can tell it to take the shunt uh, parameter. See that it says shunt that uh, it's already set up for then um the uh this guy right here the fndc is gonna take in, take charge to end whatever uh my settings are there for 
So, um, it's a lot of features on the uh, the classic. So, likewise, other charge controllers. But, uh, guys, this is how I'm going to just um, wrap up this video. And you can go back and set up, you know, the mode right there. You can turn the solar on and off. And um, so that's the time it sweeps the interval. You know, might look for the MPPT is looking for a sweet spot on the solar panels so that they can able to maximize more power for you. So I'll cover this on all on the next video. Stay tuned. Bye for now. Like and subscribe.